What's going on guys, Cam here. I am in my basement shop. I just finished upgrading my six inch AC Infinity to the eight inch AC Infinity. One of the questions that we get in the grouper a lot, can I see your ventilation set up because maybe they're looking for an answer, maybe they're looking for inspiration. But the fact is your setup is gonna be dependent on your environment. For example, I am in a basement shop. I got my Polar, I got my 80 watt. I got my fiber laser. And do you see any, any windows? I do have a window. It is tucked back here. I got a block window. Now don't laugh because this works. This is literally a cardboard box with Gorilla Tape that acts as a gasket and then a little four inch hole here. And this is my block window. It has a little vent here, but I fit the box around that frame and it seals off nice and tight. And then I just use this right here and this flex it, the reason why this is flexible ducting is because it has to go around this beam right here. I don't, so I don't have the best setup, but that's my point, right? Everybody's environment is going to be a little bit different. I have to have a four inch duct because I literally work right here. This is where my workbench is. And if I have it hanging down any bigger, I'm going to be hitting my head. So I'm already going to be hitting my head with this eight inch, but because I have a skinnier pipe, because I have that nice, that tight turn, um, I have this 90 degree, this 90 degree, that's going to break up airflow. I've been using this six inch for the last few years and it's been fine, but I figured, you know, maybe I should upgrade one of these days and see if it works. All right. So I got the box in place. You can see that it fits nice and tight around that frame. I got my connector in that hole. You see how it has to wrap around that beam there, which is kind of a pain, but watch this. I'm going to turn this on. I'm only going to turn it on to halfway because halfway, halfway is the same power as the full power of the six inch. So this produces 402 CFM at full power. This produces 807 CFM. So double the airflow. So I'm just going to do, it's got 10 settings here. I'm just going to do five. I'm going to grab a piece of paper, let it wind up here. And go to my laser and go underneath and show you. Now I removed my stock fan, so there's no fan. It's just an opening here. Watch this. Got this piece of paper here. So that's half power, right? So let's suck in that paper pretty good. All right. So now let's see what we have. Well, full power. Pretty quiet too. I don't even really hear it. Let's go full power, eight, nine, 10. So it's gonna get a little louder here. Now it's really going. Now check this out. Back underneath. <laughs> if I didn't hold onto this paper tight, it would take the whole thing. see that it's going to work so much better and that just turns it off so we always recommend for the the bigger lasers like the 130 watts 150 watt to have the 8 inch but if you have a setup like mine with a lot of turns maybe your duct run is super long you might want to consider getting an 8 inch 6 inch is pretty standard works with the the smaller machines the 2028 models like I have, but again, it all depends on your situation. So just consider it. For me, this is gonna work. 